So I wanted to create this video on a comment that someone made relating to keto putting your body in an emergency state. Okay, it's absolutely not true. I think what they were talking about is when you go through keto adaptation, when you're initially transitioning from sugar burning into fat burning, and you might feel a little edgy, irritable, uh, and that comes from low blood sugars. Now, there's a way that you can transition without going through that, okay? Without all the keto flu, fatigue, and all you need to do is take a little more salt, sea salt, potassium and electrolytes and magnesium, and vitamin B1 from nutritional yeast, and you really won't go through hardly any side effects, okay? But to adapt to run your body on fat 24-7, you're going to have to build new enzymes, new cellular machinery to actually burn fat consistently. It's going to be really hard to go back and forth if you're consuming carbs one day and then you're going on keto the next. You have to be consistent over a period of time. So I think if you're going to do it halfway, you're going to have a heck of a time because you're never going to fix this blood sugar thing. You're never going to fully adapt and convert over. Ketones, and there's three of them, but we're going to talk about beta-hydroxybutyrate, inhibits the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the flight or fight mechanism, the part of the nervous system that adapts to stress. Okay, Over here, you have the parasympathetic, which is rest and digest, and the flight or fight mechanism over here has to do with reacting to stress. But ketones actually pull you out of this sympathetic dominant situation, which so many people are in. So many people are in a stress mode. They can't sleep. Their pulse rate's high. They get high blood pressure. They're in a state of anxiety. They have a very low tolerance to stress. If they did healthy keto and ran their body in ketones, they would feel a nice calmness. Their pulse rate would come down. They would sleep better. Blood pressure coming down. Much better mood. Much more tolerance to stress. There's two ways for your body to make ketones. Number one, through fasting or intermittent fasting and lowering your carbohydrates. So basically, when you go into healthy keto, you're increasing your parasympathetic nervous system. This is your recovery system. You're going to feel much calmer. But the truth is that high carbohydrate diets put your body in an emergency state. When you do a high carb diet, you deplete your B1. That is needed for the autonomic nervous system to function. So lacking B1, you're eventually going to have a sympathetic dominant situation where you're going to be in flight or fight. And then over time, that will burn out too. And that condition is called POTS. If you want more information, I put a link down below. That's a situation when you get up too fast and you feel really dizzy because the body no longer can tolerate stress even from standing up. This is why one of the things I recommend when you do keto is just to beef up, no pun intended, your B1 from nutritional yeast so you actually can transition to this very, very nicely and it'll actually help you with any side effects that may occur when you adapt. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.